Hey, this is Brian from Hellville, and you're watching MPJ. Story 
and uh, you know, each episode is a song, so each song describes an episode of the movie, and it really kind of lends itself hand in hand. We had to outsource companies, we had to find a price that could actually do it, and uh, we, we met up with Rune Entertainment, they did a fantastic job of translating and uh, helping us out. We got comic books coming out, they're already finished, and, and we're really excited to unleash it onto the world. Can you tell us a little bit about the comic books then? Yeah, the comic books are yet another way to really explain the story. Um, and what we're doing is, like, so the first comic book will be for Take Back the Fear, and then we'll really dive in, in depth uh, to everything that's been written for the movie. Uh, My Reward is already written, too, which is the second song on the record. Uh, and then Runaway will be another video, uh, because it'll be our second single. So, and that'll be the third song. It's the third song on the record. So it kind of just continues. Uh, the comic books are full color. They're one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I'm, I'm a real nerd, so I'm all into things like Spawn and the Watchmen, and if you've ever seen the animated Watchmen thing, it'll blow your mind, and, and you know, that, that, that's what we're all about, so we're enjoying this, you know, we're really enjoying that, that our, our record company and the people behind us have, have led us to just be creative and, and really do whatever we want to do, yeah, really go for it. That's cool, so you're a big comic book fan, so it has to be kind of crazy to see your own stuff that you created. I'm a, I'm a bigger video game fan, so okay. like, I, I'm trying to get all these things kind of going on a, on a, a different level, you know, okay. and really explode it. It's just about creating a hill Hill universe so that, you know, everybody around can enjoy it. Whether you like music or you like comic books, you like movies, you like video games, there's something for everybody, and we just want to do the best we can with each one. Hellthevillain.com or dot cam, like you would say. Dot com. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mister. How about the video game? I feel like I have a video game coming out soon. No, we don't have a video game. You should have a video game we coming should. out soon. We that should. would be but awesome. The, web, the website's kind of like that. Trust me. When you go home and you you, you click on that, you will uh, mail me the next day, going, "Are you fucking serious?" Like, I'll email you. Like it's a thirty thousand dollar website. Like I'm not kidding you. It's unbelievable. So you don't have to pay for the video game, it's there for it, Yeah, it's, it's more like, it's more like a, um, like we can just ready and the website's more like a, like a, one of those point and click things. So like, you know, you'll see Drake getting hit by the car, um, which is the last scene by his mistress. And, uh, you know, his, his wallet pops out, so you click on his wallet and start searching around his IDs. And the matches will come out and it'll lead to phone numbers. There's a phone booth where you can type in those phone numbers and we've left messages for fans that, happen around the metal city which is the city we created. Video website. Whose idea was that? How much did you guys have in development? Like how much you guys Well first of all our input uh, would be like tenfold. We, we are involved in every process that, that happens um, and in designing, especially creative. The website um, on its own was uh, designed as an idea of we, we were thinking about what, what are people going to see the most? Are they going to see the, the website? Are they going to see the music video or whatever? We thought the website would be the thing they'd hit on the most. So the idea to make that really extravagant and over the top was, was our, our, our solution to making something you know, that in depth for a website. And the fact that bands don't do that. Most bands rely on MySpace or Facebook to get their messages across. For us, it was about creating something that you know you can spend three hours on and still not see it. Yeah, and have fun. Have a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you ever go on your own website? <laughs> Do you ever go out and play? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you That's put your awesome. own webcam stuff on there? Uh, actually, I have. I, I have. I put uh, a couple. Each member of the band's done some, and it's funny because we see a lot of our um, our record company. And, and agents and stuff doing their faces up and it's kind of funny to see them on there and I, obviously you know people aren't going to know who they are but right. for us it's funny because they get off on it too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so you guys are doing a lot of touring so you guys definitely want to check them out. The show tonight was killer so make sure you check them out when they come through town. Uh, you can of course see the pictures from tonight's show at musicianphotojournal.com. Um, best of luck to you. Thank you so much. Uh, their new album comes out when again? It's June 8th. June 8th. Population declining. Okay,